104.5, the team, you're home for New York sports. It's been a great week to talk to NFL legends, man. Tory Holt yesterday and today, I, I got to be honest with you, There, was, my mother watched one football game a year. It was a Super Bowl, and she knew exactly <laughs> who you were uh, running back for the Cincinnati Bengals, Icky Woods. How are you doing, man? I'm doing wonderful, man. Actually down here in Boca playing some golf right now, man. A little vacation time, so we're having a out here having a little fun playing some golf at the PGA National. That's it. All right. See, I never, I never pictured you as a golfer. I just pictured you as a hammerhead getting in the end zones and then maybe getting some cold cuts. Oh, I got to find some way to get that frustration out since I can't pound out heads anymore on the field. I got to take it out on a little white ball, you know. Icky, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to touch on Bengals and Bills here in a bit, but you know, you came out. Guns blazing on fire your rookie season. And right now there's a running back in the NFL, Ezekiel Elliott, who's similar to you, having a tremendous rookie season. How do you have such a big impact in just year one in the NFL, especially at the running back position? Well, it, it, it starts up front first, man. He's got those big guys up front opening holes for him, and then he's just basically being a running back, man, finding an open hole and, and getting it up in there, man. And he's doing a, a great job. Dallas is playing wonderful to the rookie quarterback is doing wonderful as well, man. So they got a they got a nice one two combination down there in Dallas, man. But uh Ezekiel has really impressed me, but he impressed me coming out of Ohio State though. He did a lot a lot of good things there at Ohio State and being in, you know, Cincinnati, Ohio, I got a chance to watch the kid uh almost every week. So uh I knew once he got to Dallas and got in a, uh, behind that offensive line they got down there that he was gonna have a, a, a great year, but he's doing a a lot better than I than I thought he would do. Maybe one of the best years we've seen out of a running back, uh, AFC champion, Super Bowl running back, Icky Woods of the Cincinnati Bengals, joining us right now. Levac and Goss, one zero four five, the team. When you watch these guys get fifteen yard penalties for celebrating, and we all know and love you primarily for the Icky Shuffle, <laughs> does it drive you insane? Could you do you think you could be you in the modern NFL? Well, modern NFL, pro- probably not, you know, because uh, that's, you know, as they say, the NFL is a no fun league, man. They don't want those guys to have too much fun, and it's a business. But, you know, it's at the discretion of the refs. You know, when you guys kind of take it overboard, then you get the 15 yard penalty. But as, as you can see, they, they let uh, some guys do some things, man. But when they start getting excessive, is when they throw the 15 yard penalty. So, but it's, uh, it's in a way to express themselves, and personally, me myself, I only did it at home in front of my home crowd. So it was it was it was something to get our fans involved with with what we were doing, making it fun for them as well. How many times a day do you get asked to do the shuffle, Icky? Oh man, quite a bit. Well, it's, it's the uh, it's the cold cut thing now, man. <laughs> you know, most people know me for the cold cut. They don't really know me for the shuffle, so they know me as the. Hey, that's the cold cut guy. Hey, man, do that cold cut dance. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Woods joins us here, and he was yeah. able, he was able to get all the way to the Super Bowl with the Cincinnati Bengals in the past years. The Bengals have had a lot of success. Where would you grade the Cincinnati Bengals franchise right now? Uh, you know they're 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 okay, man, but they got they can't seem to get over that one and done hump for the playoffs, man. But and they're not doing too well this year, man. I don't know what's going on with the. The guys down there, they they have all the talent, man, but they're just not putting it together. So if they don't get this thing turned around uh, here pretty soon with seven games left, they may not even make the playoffs this year. So they've been the last five years, but each year they hadn't been able to get out of the first round. So uh, it's always good to have a winning season, but you got to be able to win in the playoffs as well. Now, you played your college football at UNLV in Las Vegas. My partner here, LeVac, is a big-time Raider fan. But there's been talk yeah. about possibly Las Vegas having an NFL team. You played football in that city. Do you think Las Vegas can handle an NFL team? Is the fan base ready for something like that? Uh, it's, 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 it's not if Las Vegas can handle it. It's if the football team can handle being in Vegas. <laughs> 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 but I think, I think right now they're starving for a professional sports team down there in Vegas, man. And they're ready to pretty much do anything they can do to – get a team down there and uh, yeah but I think the turnout would be great you know if they had a professional team there in Vegas all pro NFL running back Icky Woods with us right now 104.5 the team Icky I volunteered that if they do move to Vegas I would join the team in the capacity of meet the visiting team at the airport and show them a good time so they're not ready for Sunday yeah Yeah, that's that that's that old answer get it Get them pumped up, 
pumped up and ready to go, so so they're not ready to play, you know. <laughs> We'll just go back to the Bengals here in a bit. Uh, the Bengals overall, we touched about how they're having kind of a down season compared to the few years. What do you think the franchise overall has to do to make the biggest change and get over that one and out hump? Uh, you know, it, it all it all starts at the top, man. We got to, uh, you know, but it, it, that's not going to change. The top is not going to change. So we will be in the same uh same right. We gotta get we gotta get a winning mentality, man. We just don't have that here in Cincinnati, man. We don't have that winning mentality where, you know, they wanna win from the top to the bottom. So until that changes, until we get a, a winning mentality, we're still gonna just, you know, win ball games and have a winning season hopefully or or an eight and eight season and, and they're happy with that. You know, most of the fans are not, but the <laughs> fran- franchise is happy with just a winning season. Icky Woods with us, and you can hear this is a man who knows how to have fun. Uh, Icky, do you still own and run the Cincinnati Sizzle? Yeah, yeah, I just I hadn't had time to uh, deal with them, but yeah, I still uh, own and I don't too much run the team, but I, I do still own the team. Of course. I just, uh, I'm just too busy with my son's foundation because they normally play games on the weekend and I'm out raising money to fight asthma uh, on the weekend, so I just don't have time to to uh, devote to the team because I'm doing a lot with my son's foundation. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about that foundation and how people up here in the upstate New York region can help reach out and help your foundation. Well, you can just go to our website. It's called the Javante, and that's spelled J-O-V-A-N-T-E, woodsfoundation.org. And six years ago, I lost my son to asthma. And so we started the foundation in his name called the Javante Woods Foundation. And what I do is I go around the country raising money for asthma research and asthma education. Hopefully to one day find a cure for asthma. If not find a cure, find a better way to treat it. And then just to ed- educate people on how serious and severe asthma really is. Because a lot of people think you just take your medicine and it'll be okay. And that's not, and that's not the case. So... We just try to get out and educate and also raise money for research. Icky Woods, man, if there's ever anything we can do to help you get the word out, just let us know. We appreciate you. And uh, see, if you ever want to golf up in upstate New York, you let me know that too. We'll get out there and smack the ball around. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good.